Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Fine, fine. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Thank Ready you. for the English class. Thank you. So let's wait for the rest of the class to come in, to join. There were there are two who are having internet issues, so they can't connect today in the meeting. They just have internet in the WhatsApp. Okay, very well. Yes, I heard that there are some problems, right? With yes. uh, Tigo. Yeah. Tigo has experienced some problems with internet. But claro, anyway. también ayer. Really? Yes. Something <laughs> is going on, right? Yes. Uh, today is uh, amanecí sin internet desde ayer. Bueno, desde ayer estaba sin internet. Really? Yes. That's strange, right? I mean, that the two companies, I don't know. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess it's time for us to start. So, well, first of all, how is everybody doing with the platform? Uh, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So, um, did you finish the section number four already? No, yet. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So. Yes, I finished it. I finished yes. it. Some, okay. Some. Very good, very good. If you have questions, if you have comments about the platform, of course, you can just uh, tell me, let me know, and it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay. Okay. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about some procedures, and today we're going to check some procedures in a different way, okay? Uh, steps and some other vocabulary that we're going to check into that one. So let's go to the class of today. Yes. Uh, here we go. Okay, so we're going to check some recipes. I hope you have eaten already. So, uh, these are some readings. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, well, first of all, repeat and check the pronunciation. Then we're going to check vocabulary. And then we're going to, we're going to uh, read, okay? So, please everybody repeat. Simple sweet scones. Simple sweet scones. Simple, sweet scones. Read the recipe. Read the recipe. Ingredients. 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 Two and a half cups of flour. Two, two and a half, and a half cups of flour. Cup of flour. One tablespoon of baking powder. One, table One tablespoon of baking powder. powder. Baking powder. A half teaspoon of cold butter. A half teaspoon of cold butter. A quarter cup of sugar. A quarter cup of sugar. Use one third if you want sweeter scones. Use one third if you want sweeter scones. A pinch of cinnamon optional. A pinch of cinnamon optional. Two third cups of milk. Two third, Two -third cups, cups of, of milk. milk. Steps. 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 Heat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Heat the, Heat the oven, oven to, to 220. 220. 220. 220 degrees. Degrees. degrees Celsius. 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 Uh, put flour, put, put flour, 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 baking powder, flour. and salt in a large bowl and stir well. Baking, baking powder and salt, salt in a large yeah. bowl, large bowl, bowl and stir well. well. Add the butter and cut in with a pastry blender. Add, Add the, the butter and cut in the cut with a pastry blender. Pastry blender. I rub in the butter with your fingers. I rub, I rub in, in the, the butter, butter with your fingers. Your, in her, your fingers. Until the mixture looks like fine breadcrumbs. Until, Until the, the mixture, mixture looks like fine breadcrumbs. Bread 
add the sugar and dust mix. Uh, add the, the sugar, sugar and, and dust, dust mix. mix. And dust. Add the milk and stir with a fork until the dough is firm. Add the milk and stir with a fork until, with a fork until the dough is firm. Form the dough into a ball and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Form the dough into a ball and roll the dough into a six inch circle. The dough into a six inch circle. Cut out wedges for each scone. Cut out wedges for each scone. Line a tray with greaseproof paper and place the wedges on the paper. Line a tray, a tray with, with greaseproof paper, paper and place the wedges of the paper. Sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Sprinkle, Sprinkle a little sugar, sugar and cinnamon, cinnamon on, on each scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Bake in the oven for, for about 12 minutes, minutes or until or they are medium brown, medium brown, brown on, top. on top. Good. So let's check some vocabulary. Uh, scones. Scones. What are those? Scones. No, like uh, muffins. Like oh, a muffin, like a biscuit. Uh, something like that. Good. Okay. Of course, you know that a recipe is like a procedure and steps, ingredients for us to cook something, right? Yes. Um, this is very interesting because we have different vocabulary, like two and a half, a half, a quarter, or one quarter, a third, two thirds. So that vocabulary is very important. Uh, what is flour? Um, is the different tastes from like uh, strawberry or grape? They are artificial uh, flavors. Arena. Actually, <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Arena. Okay. And the other one is flavors. So it's a mm. little bit different. So, mm. tablespoon, what is that? Cuchara. Cucharada. Cucharada. Okay. Mm. Uh, cucharada. That cucharada. is like, like the regular one, the ones that we mm. use for soup and things like that. Okay. Um, and it says called butter, it means that the butter, uh, you don't need to cook it. So it's going to be just put the called butter into the, well, whatever you want. Mm. Then we have a quarter cup of sugar, just one third if you want sweeter scones, but that is the same. A pinch, what is a pinch? Pisca. Pisca. A little bit, right? Just a little bit. A little bit. Of cinnamon, what is cinnamon? Anela. <laughs> yeah, that is very good, right? <laughs> okay, that is optional if you want. Then we have two third cups of milk. And there are some steps, of course. Uh, number one says heat the oven. What is heat? Mm -mm. Mm. Making the oven being hot in a yeah. certain uh, degree. Very good. That is it. So heat is when you put fire on the oven. And then the oven is getting hot, right? That is it. And of course, oven is the one that you have in the, in the stove, right? Okay, then we have 220 degrees. So that little symbol that is next to 20, uh, that is degrees, that is temperature, right? When you degrees. want to degrees. And Celsius in this case, but remember that we can also use Fahrenheit. Okay, Jenny says put flour, uh, baking powder, and uh, salt in a large bowl. What is a bowl? Um, recipient. 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 What kind of recipient? Um, a glass one. Um, the foreign bowl. 
<risa> Como un bobo. <risa> un tazón. Okay. Un tazón. Something like, like that, right? When you put some liquids or a lot of things so you can mix. Good. And then it says, and steer well. What is steer? Batir o remover. Revolver. Very good. So, for example, we can say that uh, we can cook steer eggs. Huevos revueltos. Okay. okay. Then it says, add the butter and cut in with a pastry blender. Do you know what a pastry blender is? Um, blender. Sugar. Yes. Uh, okay. A pastry blender is like a tool. Uh, mostly is made of plastic or something like that. And in the uh, in one of the points here, it has like a, a rub, a rub part, so you can cook or cut things. So I don't know how to say that in Spanish, but it's something like it's like. <laughs> No, uh, a blender, solo una blender es como una, es un pastel blender es como una, una de esas como paletas con una punta de goma que utilizan ahí los chefs como para cortar cosas. Um, Espátula, something like that. Espátula. Pero, uh, ajá, something like that, something like that. Oh. Okay. And then it says, or rub. What is rub? Okay, rub is a verb. This verb is very common, for example, when we use medicine, ointment, or for example, when you have big vaporu, right? Mm -hmm. What you do is mm -hmm. rub. Rub. In this case, is rub in the butter because it says rub in. So you are going to do this action with that one. Rub uh, in the butter. Uh -huh. frotar, 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 frotar. Very good. So you put the rubbing the butter with your fingers until the mixture. What is mixture? Mm. 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 La masa. Mezcla. 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 La mezcla. Okay. Oh. Hasta que la mezcla. Until the mixture looks like fine. Breadcrumbs. What is breadcrumbs? Mm. Migas. Pequeñas pequeña piezas pequeña de pan, algo así. Migajitas chiquitas. Mm. Very good. Um, yes. And then it says add sugar and toss to mix. What is toss? And. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. So when you move something like for that to mix, right? So you just mm -hmm. move the recipient, right? <laughs> something like that. Number five says add the milk and stir with a fork. What is a fork? Good. Y cuchara como era. Sponge. Y cuchillo como era. Nice. 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 nice, nice, nice. Very good, nice. So with a fork <laughs> until the dough. What is dough? Masa. Masa, very good. Uh, until the dough is firm. Number six, form the dough into a ball and roll the dough into a six inch circle. What is inch? Mm. Good. 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 Number seven, cut out wedges. Do you know what are wedges? No. Mm, that is kind of difficult. Let's see. Wedges are like similar a sleigh. A sleigh. Yeah, it's like a like a line of dough in this mm. case, something like that. A piece, a large piece, right? Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Dove into wedges. Uh huh. Uh, number line eight, I'm sorry, line a, a tray. So you are going to uh, line a tray mm -hmm. with grease proof uh, paper. Do you know what is grease proof? Um, um, 
like a uh, aceite <laughs> in spray. In this case, it's grease proof paper. That means that the paper is grease proof. Do you yes. know what is proof? Only proof. Um, a prueba de. A prueba de. De grasa en este caso. Mm -hmm. O sea, es de ese papel que no se le pasa la grasa. Es el papel. ¿Han visto mm -hmm. las, el pan dulce que a veces lo ponen en un papel como café? Mm -hmm. That is the grease proof mm -hmm. paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it says, and place the wedges on the paper. So you are going to put the wedges there on the paper, right? Number nine, it says sprinkle. What is sprinkle? There are some little candies with different colors. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Like chispitas? Mm, yeah, those are mm -hmm. sparks. Oh. It, it is uh, polvo, yeah. polvo, polvo. Very polvo. good. So when you polvo, get yeah. with your fingers and you do this, mm -hmm. right? You sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon mm -hmm. on each cone. Okay. Then it says bake. What is to bake? Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Okay, I guess this is it for the vocabulary. Now we're going to read. Okay. Uh, we're going to read this part one and then the other part, the other one. So the first one is going to be Carol Rivera. Okay. And simple sweet scum. Read the read the recipe uh, ingredient. Two, uh, two and a half and a half cup of flour. Uh, one tablespoon of baking powder. Powder. Uh, Powder in a, in a half, a half, half a teaspoon of cool butter, a quarter cup of sugar, use a one third. A, if you want sweet, sweeter scones, a pitch of Cinnamon, optional, a two thirds cup of milk. Continue, please, until number two. Okay. Step uh, one, heat the oven to 200 uh, degrees. Uh, two. Celsius. Uh, Celsius. Uh, two, um, but flour. Baking powder, powder and salt in large bowl and stir, stir well. Perfect, thank you. Uh, next one is going to be uh, Edwin. Okay, add the butter and cook in the with a pastry blender or rub in the butter with your fingers until the mixture looks like fine bread crumbs. Add the sugar and toast to meat. Add the milk and stir with a fork until the dog is firm. Pour the dog into a bowl and roll the dog into a six inch circle. Cool out wedges for each scone. scone. Light a tray, tray with grease proof paper and place the widgets on the paper. A sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Thank you. Next one is uh, Margarita. Mm, let's see. Um. 
steps. Hit the oven to 220. Uh, it should be from simple sweet scones, read the recipe, ingredients, and oh, all this. Okay. okay, thank you. Simple sweet scones, read the recipe, ingredients, two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, powder half teaspoon of cold butter, a quarter cup of sugar, use three, one, one third each one sweeter scones, a pinch of cinnamon optional, and two thirds cups of milk. Uh, please read uh, number one and two again. Two steps. Uh, heat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Uh, put flour, baking powder, and salt in a large bowl and stir well. Perfect. Thank you. Marilyn is the next mm. from three to ten. Okay. The little two. Uh, three. Okay, uh, three. Add the butter and put it with a parcel blender. A rub in the butter with your fingers until the mixture looks like fine, thin breadcrumbs. Add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the meal and stir with a fork until the dough is firm. Pour the dough into a bowl and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Could that wait just for it to come? Like a dry green crisp proof paper and place the wedges of the paper. Sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown at top. Thank you. Next one is going to be Ricardo. Okay. Okay, a simple sweet scone. Read the recipe. Ingredients: two, one, two cup of flour. Two and a half. One. Two and a half. A table tablespoon of baking powder. A, a half. Two, one. A, come. A half. A half. A half. A half. This one. A full butter, uh, a quarter, one, a quarter, a quarter cup of sugar. You say one, three. If you want sweeter scone, a pinch is cinnamon optional. Uh, two, three cup of milk. A steep. Uh, hit the oven to uh, 220 Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Uh, put flour, baking powder, and salt, and large bowl, and stir well. Thank you. Next one is Lorena. Uh, we can hear you, Lorena. Um, we still can't hear you. I don't know. I guess you are in mute. Or maybe you have some problems with. Yeah, that happens, right? Okay, don't worry. If you have some problems, we're going to continue with Arely. Okay, sorry. Okay. 
and the butter and cook it with a pesky blender on raw in the water with your finger until the mixture looks like five brown crumbs. Add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the meal and stir with a for you until the dough is finished. Pour the dough, dough into a bowl and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Cut out wedges for each scone. Lie a tray with grease proof paper in and place the wedges on the paper. A sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Thank you. Next one is going to be okay. Hilda. Okay, teacher. Simple, so sweet scone. Read the recipe ingredi ingredients to one uh, half cup of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of full butter, one quarter cup of sugar, use one third if you want sweeter scones, a pinch of cinnamon optional, a two thirds cup cups of milk, Step, heat the oven to 20, 20, 220. Me, 220, how do you say? Degrees, degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Uh -huh. And number two, put flour, baking powder, and salt in larger bowl, in larger bowl and stir well. Perfect, thank you. Uh, next one is going to be Gerardo. Add the butter and cook in with a plastic blender or rub in the butter with your fingers until the mixture looks like fine breadcrumbs. Or add the sugar and toast to mix. Five, add the milk and stir with a fork until the dough is firm. Six, pound the dough into a ball and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Seven, cut out mixes for each scone. Eight, line a tray with the grease proof paper and place the grease proof on the paper. Nine, sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Ten, bake in, in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are made brown on top. Perfect, thank you. Uh, the next one is Elvis. Simple sweet scones. Re read the recipe. Ingredients: two and a half cup cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of cold butter, a half cup of sugar. Use. Um, how do you say that, teacher? One third. It's going to be one third scones. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Cinnamon, optional. Two. Third cups of. Celsius. Two. Flour and salt. Okay, perfect, thank you. The last one is going to be um, Sandra. Yes. 
Number okay. one. From number three. Okay. Add the, the butter and put in with a pastry blender or rub in the in the butter with your finger until the mixture looks like fine bread crumbs. Four, add the sugar, the sugar and, and taste to mix. Add the mix, the mix and stir, stir with a, a four until the dough is firm. Six, form the dough in, into a ball and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Number seven, cut out, out widgets for each scone. Number eight, lay a, a tray with grease proof paper and place the widgets on the papers. Number nine, spring, sprinkle and little sugar and, and, and cinnamon on each scone. 10, ba bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Very well, thank you very much. Okay, so this was like the first reading. Uh, but we have all the reading here. Another recipe so we can check about steps. Um, as usual, we're going to repeat. Pepperoni pasta. Pepperoni, Pepperoni pasta. pasta. Pepperoni pasta. Pepperoni pasta. Pepperoni pasta. Ingredients. 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 Pepperoni sauce. Pepperoni sauce. sauce. One red onion. One, One red, red onion. onion. Two red peppers. Two, Two red, red peppers. peppers. 120 grams pepperoni. 120, 120 grams pepperoni. 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 One can 450 grams tomatoes. One, One can 450 grams tomatoes. tomatoes. One cup of water. One cup of water. water. Olive oil. Olive oil. oil. Garlic. Garlic. Oregano. Oregano. 50 grams pasta per person. 50 grams pasta per person. Per person. Cut the onion, red peppers, and pepperoni. Heat some olive oil in a pan. Heat some, some olive oil, 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 in, a oil in a pan. pan. And, fry and fry the onions, red peppers, and pepperoni. And fry the onions, red peppers, and pepperoni. pepperoni. Add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water and cook for 20 minutes. Add oregano, oregano tomatoes, and water, 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 water 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Cook the pasta in a big pan of boiling water. Cook, Cook the, the pasta, pasta in a big pan, pan of boiling water. 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 Serve the pasta with the pepperoni sauce. Serve the pasta with pepperoni sauce. Pepperoni sauce. Pepperoni sauce. Delicious. 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 <laughs> Let's check some vocabulary. Here is kind of easy. Um, can you please explain me what an onion is? Cebolla. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is it. good. Uh, I know that you know what is peppers, tomato, one can. What is a can? Oh, yeah. Can. 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 Lata. Lata. Very good. And then it says, uh, let's see, oregano pasta. Let's check the other one. 
Uh, it says cut the onion, red peppers, pepperoni, heat some olive oil in a pan. What is a pan? Sartén. Sartén. Very good. And fry the onions. What is to fry? Uh, I, I was reading, I don't know if you know that one, but ha have you seen those air fryers that uh, now are very, very popular? Speaking about fry. Yes. Yes. Have you ever tried those? Yes. Yeah. Is, is it good? <laughs> have you ever seen how do they work? The air mm -hmm. fryers. Yes, teacher, I have. It's very good. Really? Yes. And do, you, do you have to put uh, oil on that one or you don't use oil at all? A little, but uh, oil uh, in a spray. Uh, really? In spray? Yeah, in a spray only uh, uh, apply. Apply. Apply a little uh, oil and you you put the the food like a uh, platano <laughs> okay yeah uh, uh, chicken um for example today i put the tamal de lote uh -huh. uh, it, it's very good very very delicious very nice with well, a little oil okay yeah that, that was the question that i had i mean uh, do you put some oil in that kind of fryers? Uh, uh, and if it's good, I mean, the, the taste, the flavor is good. It's nice. Yes, it's good. It's nice. It's mm -hmm. better uh, when you use uh, me, uh, more, uh, demasiado aceite. A lot of oil, yeah. A lot of oil, yes. Mm -hmm. it's the plata, the plata uh -huh. is very uh, sweet. Sweet. In my uh, it like 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 fry like fryer uh, when frito como que son fritos. Okay, and uh, that kind of that kind of uh, oil uh, that you apply, uh, do they sell that in Walmart in all these places? Let me uh, let me show the spray. Okay, we're learning something. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This one? Uh huh. It is uh, a spray oil. Uh, oil. Okay. Yes. In my mm -hmm. mind. That is very good. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been checking on that one and I guess I'm going to get some. So I was thinking if you have no about that one. I recommend the, this, this machine because it's very uh, necessary. Yeah. yeah. And it's healthier. Yes. That is good, right? So. Yes. yes. <laughs> is Thank it you. cooked? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the advice, Hilda. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, fry the onions, the peppers, the peroni, oregano, you know, that is what is that cook? Big pan, boiling water. What is boiling water? Mm. Mm. It's water it's very, very hot. Very hot, boiling, right? That is, they're like, well, not good. Okay, and sauce and everything. Okay, so we're going to read. This is going to be very easy. One people is going to read the ingredients and the other people is going to read uh, the procedure. The first one is going to be cuddle. Okay. Uh, my favorite dish, uh, pepperoni pasta. Ingredient, pepperoni sauce. One red onion, two red pepper peppers uh, 120 gram pepperoni uh, one can uh, four uh, four uh, hundred fifty gram tomato one cup water olive uh, oil garlic oregano 50 gram pasta per person. Very good. Next one is Arli. Uh, cook the onion, red pepper, and pepperoni. Heat some 
olive oil in a pan and fry the onions, red peppers, and pepperoni, and add orean, garlic, tomato, and water, and cook, and cook for 20 minutes. Uh, cook the pot in a big pan of the boiling water. Serve the pot with the pepperoni sauce. Delicious. Very good, thank you. Next one is going to be um, Hilda. Mm, the pepperoni pasta, teacher? Yeah, please. The okay. ingredients only. Okay. The pepperoni pasta, ingredients, pepperoni sauce. I read one red onion, two red peppers, 120 grams. How do you say? Grams, that's good. Gram pepperoni, and one can, um, four, 450 grams tomato, uh, one cup water, olive oil, gar garlic, oregano, oregano, and um, 50 grams pasta per person. Thank you, very well. So next one is Marilyn. Okay, cook the onion, red papers, and pepperoni. Heat some olive oil in a pan and fry the onion, red papers, and pepperoni. Add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water, and cook for 20 minutes. Put the pasta in a big pan of boiling water. Serve the pasta with the pepperoni sauce, delicious. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Next one is going to be Sandra. <clears throat> Bonjour, Sandra. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Go ahead. My favorite dish: pepperoni pasta. Ingredient. Ingredients, pepperoni sauce, one red onions, two red pepper, peppers, one 120 grams pepperoni, one can, uh, two, uh, four, 450, 50 grams tomatoes, one cup water, water, Olive oils, garlic, oregano, 50 gram pasta per person. Very good, thank you. Next one Continue. is, I uh, know, that is fine, thank you. Uh, next one is Edwin. Okay, first, cut the onion, red papers and pepperoni, two, heat some olive oil in a pan and fry the onions, red, pepper, red peppers and pepperoni, add oregano, garlic, tomatoes and water, waters and cook for 20 minutes. Cook the pasta in a bulk pan of boiling water. Serve the pasta with pepperoni sauce. It's delicious. Thank you. Uh, next one, um, Lorena, are you able to do it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, my favorite dish, pepperoni pasta. Ingredients, pepperoni sauce, I, one red onion, two red peppers, uh, 120 grams pepperoni, uh, one can, 450 grams tomatoes, one cup water, olive oil, garlic, oregano, 50 grams pasta per person. Perfect, thank you. Uh, next one is Margarita. Cut the onion, red peppers and pepperoni. Heat some oil, olive oil in a pan and fry the onions, red peppers and pepperoni. Add oregano, garlic, 
tomatoes and water and cook for 20 minutes. Cook the pasta in a big pan of boiling water. Serve the pasta with the pepperoni sauce. Delicious. Thank you. Next one is Ricardo. Uh, my favorite dish, pepperoni pasta. Ingredients, pepperoni sauce. I read onion, red pepper. Uh, to 120 grams pepperoni. I can uh, 450 grams tomato. I cup water, olive oil, garlic, oregano. Uh, 50 grams pasta per person. Perfect, thank you. Next one is okay. Gerardo. Okay. Cut the onion, red pepper, and pepperoni. Heat some olive oil in a pan and fry the onion, red pepper, and pepperoni. Add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water and cook for 20 minutes. Cook the pasta in a big pan of boiling water. Serve the pasta with the pepperoni sauce. Delicious. Very good. Thank you. And uh, next one is Elvis. Okay. My favorite dish. Pepperoni pasta. Ingredients. Pepperoni sauce. One red onion. Two red peppers. 120 grams pepperoni. One can or... 150 grams tomatoes, one cup of water, one cup of water, olive oil, garlic, oregano, 50 grams pasta per person. Perfect. Thank you. I guess everybody has uh, done it. So, also uh, there are some tips that are very interesting at the bottom. It says top tips for writing. Uh, Please use commas between a list of items in a sentence, okay? When writing a, a recipe or instructions, use numbers to indicate the stages and use the base form of the verb imperative to give instructions. So as you can see here, uh, we have done that one. I mean, for example, red peppers and pepperoni and onions. So we use commas, right? And also numbers to indicate every stage, every step of what we need to do, and uh, imperative, cook, heat, add, serve. So uh, we need to use that kind of grammar, let's say, uh, in these uh, situations. Do you have any question about this exercise? No, no question. Teacher. 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 Okay. Please let's spell the pronunciation uh, medium, one, house. Ah, okay. Made you like this it's one, a right? Spell. Okay. Uh, like this one, right? Half. Yes. That is going to be H A L F. Half. Okay. Okay. Very good. Any other question? Okay, let's practice in a different way. Um, what is your favorite dish? Can you tell me that one? I'm hungry already. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite dish, lasagna. <laughs> really, lasagna? Yes. That's good. But is chicken lasagna or meat lasagna or eggplant lasagna? Um. <laughs> Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, berenjena. Eggplant. Eggplant. Lasaña. Yeah, that is very good. I yeah. never tried that before, but once uh, my wife, she started to cook that one, and it was very good, very nice. Yes. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> uh, but do you cook that one? Uh, what is uh, your favorite dish that you cook? Because sometimes they're different, right? Mm -hmm. No. What is the best dish that you believe mm -hmm. that is is the one that everybody says, oh my goodness, this is fantastic, Carol. 
No, no cocino. No, really? Ok. No. Ok, that is interesting. Ok, nice, nice, that's good. Um, but lasagna is very nice. Uh, let's see, anybody else wants to share? My favorite, excuse me, my favorite dish is super sausage. Pupusas, very popular here in El Salvador, yeah. right? Yeah. Which one are your favorite? I mean, cheese or beans? Or... Mixed uh, revueltas. Ah, mixed ones, good. Yes. And can but you, go ahead. For, I like to most, uh, I have to learn to then uh, they make pupusas. Ah, okay. Uh, yes, I, I uh, all the Sunday. Uh -huh make pupusas really for so, my family yes i like it my <laughs> very goodness. much that is good yes. on sundays right? <laughs> yes yes very uh, well very well that is nice and um anybody else wants to share what is your favorite mm -hmm. uh, teacher mm -hmm. how do you say crema de mariscos that is um uh, let me think I guess there is not a name for that one. So we can say uh, sea, seafood. seafood cream or seafood uh -huh. soup, something okay. like that. Thank you. So that is it's your favorite? my favorite, favorite dishes. Really, my? Yes. So I you guess. really like seafood? Yes. And um, I could. In I my... like could. And um, is... seafood uh -huh. cream. Is that is that easy to prepare, or do you think it's kind yes, of? Yes, yes, it's very very easy. Um, only fry the ingredients and margarina. Butter. The first margarina and and then put uh, the water. Okay. Uh huh. And mix, uh, mix. You parece que es. Mezcla, and a mix, mix, pure, mix, mix or, mix, or stir, uh -huh. uh, and mix the soap uh, with water. Okay, uh -huh. very good. So, uh, so the beginning is going to be like fry, and then you yes. mix, and then you add water, maybe a little bit of yes. magic uh, condiments. All, all the spices. onions. Uh, um, how do you say that? That is celery. Celery. Yeah. Okay. And then put uh, the fish. Okay. The other uh, ingredients. Oh, the seafood. <laughs> uh -huh, seafood. In my very good. Thank you for sharing. That is well, I'm hungry already. <laughs> okay. Who else wants to share? Me, hey, teacher. Uh huh. Um, the favorite. Food that I can do is the is when I I make for my mom, my mother's birthday, and it was um, a new recipe. <laughs> That's a cake made by hotcakes and strawberry marmalade. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yes, it's like make some. Um, hot cakes and putting uh, one in top of the one, but putting some marmalade between one and one. Yeah, that sounds not that difficult. Maybe the, the difficult part there, I guess, is to, to, to do the hot to cakes, right? Hot the cakes, yes. Uh -huh. And then you just put one and the marmalade and the, oh my goodness, that sounds good. Yes. <laughs> With coffee. It's Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing. Anybody else wants to share? Um, Me too. Okay. Um, I have uh, many dishes, dishes favorite. Um, maybe my favorite is uh, beans. Bean soup. Really? That's your favorite? Really? That is, that yes. is so Salvadorian, right? I like it <laughs> as mom prepare. 
-huh. Yes, it's very delicious when and... rice and uh -huh. a little cream, cream, or cream, mm -hmm. yeah. cream, and I don't know. Eggs. Uh, Eggs, avocado, Eggs, avocado. avocado. Yeah. <laughs> yes. cheese. cheese, cheese, rice, rice. Yeah. And, and mucho picante, uh, spicy, spicy, uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. yeah. lemon, lemon, ah, yeah. <laughs> that is so good, right? <laughs> yes. Nice, Good. carrot too. <laughs> pieces yeah so nice. <laughs> yeah that is so good that is very nice thank you for sharing it anybody else okay. wants to share excellent um, for teacher for me uh, my favorite food is uh garlic shrimp oh my goodness that is good as well right it's delicious Shrimps with garlic and uh, with garlic are you able to cook that yeah, yes. Only put uh, the shrimp, uh, uh, butter, uh, and garlic, and you put in the in the dish rice and salad, and that was it. Okay, my very good. But before uh, in this situation, I don't know. I'm not sure because I ha I have never done that one. Um, but I remember that, for example, when you are going to create like a cocktail with lemon uh, of shrimps, you need to boil the shrimps first. In this situation, you don't have to boil the shrimps. Uh, no, no. Okay. Direct the shrimp and the, the pan okay. and fry. <laughs> Very good. Okay, thank you. I didn't know that one. Thank you for sharing. Who else wants to share? Anybody? No favorite food for everybody, for the rest of the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know that there are lots of uh, delicious food, right? A lot. And uh, whenever you want to learn new vocabulary, it's a good idea for you to read these kind of situations. I mean, if you see very simple recipes, they have lots of new words, right? Uh, you mm -hmm. can read also if you want to uh, know more vocabulary about science, about nature, about the news, for example, politicians, things like that. You're going to find lots of new vocabulary so you can learn a little bit more. Uh, because sometimes we are able to speak, but the same thing, right? Hey, how are you? What do you do? What's your favorite sport? What's your favorite color? But sometimes it's necessary for you to share things like that and to share with specific words that are uh, like special vocabulary depending on what you are discussing. So it's a good idea for you to learn more vocabulary, read things like that, recipes, little news, uh, financial news, for example, you're going to learn lots of vocabulary with that, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, any question before we finish today? No question. No question. No. Okay. So um, please continue with the platform. Remember that uh, by tomorrow, by this week, by the end of this week, we have to finish section number four. Next week is the last week of uh, this module. Time flies, you know. And um, we are going to be finishing the whole module. So we need to finish also the final exam. Uh, so please continue. If you have questions, remember that you can just chat with me directly or you can just also send the questions to the, uh, to the group and me or anybody else will be able to help you with that one, okay? Okay. okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Thanks, teacher, one question. Uh, no problem. I, ca I, uh, I finally the course and the platform. Uh, no problem. If you finish already, that is good. Uh, just be sure that you have 80% and that you are able yeah. to see and print your certificate. Yeah, yeah I, I, I finished the course. 
Very I, good. I, I have my certificate. Good, that is nice. So by now you just need to come to the class here in the online yeah, classes um, and that's it. it. No, no. I, I have, <laughs> I need the class. Yeah, it's we need to practice. practice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, practice. Definitely. Okay, Thank that was very good. You. Yeah, very nice that you yeah. finished already. And the rest, we can continue on that one, okay? So my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night and rest very well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Richard. Good night.